I'm going to grab this age data from my students by clicking, holding, and dragging through the data. And I'm going to control C to copy. You could also right click to copy over to Desmos. I'm going to put my cursor in an empty cell and then control V, V as in Victor to paste, or you could right click. And I've got this 45 element list. I want to name it though. So I can go to the beginning here and call this, I'm just going to call it capital X equals. You could also put your own list in by doing A equals, calling it whatever you want, and then the square bracket, and then go ahead and type some values in. I'm gonna get rid of that because I wanna compute some measures with my ages. I'm gonna click on an empty cell and I can start to type in measures such as the mean. So I can do mean parentheses X and it gives me my mean as a decimal. Notice this little fraction symbol popped up. If I click on the fraction symbol, it will change it into a fraction, clicking it again back to a decimal. Now you don't need to know the names of all the statistical measures that Desmos has. Instead, you can go ahead and open the keypad. I'm going to click on show keypad in the lower left corner and then functions to open up all the different function menus. And if you scroll down just a little ways, you will see that statistics menu. There are so many different statistics features that this one has. As you continue to scroll down, there are also some visualizations for your data and some ways to work with distributions of data. Let's go ahead and do another measure of our data here. Let's do um, let's do the standard deviation. So if I do STDEV and then X, I can do it that way or I can go ahead and in an empty cell, I can grab my standard deviation. This is for the population now, and then type in X and I've got my standard deviation. I'm gonna delete a couple of my measures and I wanna show you how to grab the five number summary. That's the one that shows up on a box and whisker plot. Clicking in an empty cell, I can go over here to functions. I'm looking for stats. So Desmos just calls this stats and then I can type in X and I've got my five number summary. If I wanted to visualize this with a box plot, I can go into another empty cell over to functions, or you could type in box plot, but I'm going to go ahead and grab it under visualizations here. So I'm going to click a box plot and then X. You'll notice that nothing showed up, but think about my ages. These were my students. I think the youngest age, well, there it is at 16. And my scale right now, my grid right now doesn't include 16. I'm going to click on the zoom fit button. Uh, that's this magnifying glass here. And that will get me to my box plot. I can also uncheck exclude outliers if you want this style of a box plot where you've got 25% of your data in the first whisker, 25 in the next, 25 in the next box, and then the upper 25% in the last line. I can also change what the offset is. So I can go ahead and put this up at, I can put it up at say 20. And then if I scroll up here or scroll out, I'll see that way up there at 20. Now I did this because I also want to do a dot plot. So I'm going to type in dot plot parentheses X, and then I can see how I've got my data underneath here. This isn't the best scale to display my data. So let's click on the wrench and change our X and Y axes. I really don't have any ages less than like 16, right? So if I start this maybe instead at 10, I'd still get a good visualization. And I want to go up here to maybe 55 for the X axis looking better already. And then for the Y axis, I want to go a little bit below the Y axis. So let's do maybe negative five and then up to, um, actually I think where I am is pretty good. I'll do 25 just for good measure. Let me click on this and then you can take a look and see that distribution of data and how it lines up with 
your lower 25% whisker, the first half of the box. Again, you've got the majority of the data here within your box and then the upper 25%. Whether you're in Desmos on your phone or on your computer, it's a really powerful way to work with some data. If I go back to my functions menu and look for those different statistics options, and then we also have the distributions. Look at my video here to learn about the normal distribution. Desmos does a really great job of z-scores, areas, and also displaying the normal curve and areas. Thank you so much for watching.